Hello! Today we're going to talk about how you can streamline your VDEV flow with an X. I'm Katarina Skrumperlu, I'm a senior engineer at Anax, a Google developer expert for Angular, web technologies and the Google Maps platform. I'm a woman tech makers ambassador, a speaker and an instructor. I love cats, I love mountains, I love oatmeal and chocolate. And you can follow me at CyberCity or find me on my website cyber.city. So what we'll talk about today. Today we'll talk about what NX is, about NX plugins and their features like generators, executors, migrators, how you can execute tasks through NX, why you should use NX for V development, of course, some examples, some conclusions, and some key takeaways. So what is NX? Also, this presentation is going to be littered with pictures of my cats. So what is NX? NX is not just another build tool. This is a visualization of a monorepo, but NX is not just that. It's a comprehensive framework that integrates your tools and helps teams build better together. Its key benefits is that it enhances productivity, it makes your CI faster and maintains your code quality. It's, it stresses, it involves around code sharing and collaboration. You can see here the NX graph that shows how the projects are linked together task caching, uh, develop, enhanced developer tools, and of course, enhanced developer experience. You can enjoy building tools and spend less time waiting and more time coding with the cache results and our code generators. So NX offers some plugins. NX plugins are extensions that add capabilities to the NX workspace. They offer code generators, task executors, and integrations with various tools and frameworks like Feed, for example, or Storybook or other tools that you can see on this list. Um, so the NX Vite plugin facilitates easy conversion and setup of Vite projects in NX. Uh, you can generate Vite projects using the NX Vite plugin for React, Web Components or Vue. You can build, serve, test and preview projects using Vite. You can convert existing projects, for example, Webpack projects to use Vite. And of course, you get Storybook Vite support. Also, NX loves Vite. The two teams collaborate on a regular basis. We reach out to each other to identify and solve issues. And of course, the ecosystem CI helps us on that. And it's just that because we love tuxedo cats. So some plugin features of an X. You get generators. Code generators are used to scaffold applications, libraries, components. They're automated scripts that lay down the blueprint for various parts of your project. In this video here, you can see a generator that generates a React application that uses Vite. They're used to automate common developer tasks and they help maintain consistency across projects because they scaffold your code in a consistent way and you get the same settings throughout your workspace. Uh, a common generator is, for example, the React app generator that you see here. Executors in an X are scripts that perform actions on your code, such as building, linting, testing, serving. Executor performs actions on your code by running scripts or commands defined in the executor's code. For Vite, for example, we are calling directly the Vite builder as is exposed by the Vite API. Uh, of course, they ensure consistency. You get one CLI to run all your commands like NX test for all your application or NX run or NX serve for all your different frameworks. And you get advantage of the NX cache and the NX affected, which we're going to see uh, further on in this presentation. Migrators are automated updates on your workspace. You can run NX migrate latest and NX will intelligently analyze your code and fetch the latest versions of the NX packages and the updates that the other packages that you're using need. This makes sure that it re the manual error is reduced and of course, consistency is ensured because you get consistent code base updates throughout your code base. You can use the NX migrate latest command and then pass the run migrations flag that will run uh, a number of generators that will make your code be up to date. Some benefits of running tasks through NX like serve or build 
is of course the annex cache, as I already told you. The annex cache intelligently determines and caches which parts of your project are affected by changes. More than just saving time, it's about intelligent research allocation. You can use various inputs to take into account which things uh, to see which things are affected and should be cached, but you can also specify your inputs manually every time. Uh, the NX graph command generates a graph that visualizes how apps and libraries depend on each other in your NX workspace. It helps you understand the architecture and dependencies of your projects. On the other hand, the annex affected command analyzes code changes and determines the affected projects and tasks, allowing you to run targeted commands only on the affected parts of your code base. For example, here, if you change the JS lib2, all of the other projects are affected. Annex Cloud provides distributed caching and task execution, allowing you to share the computation cache across your CI teams. You also get visual insights. For example, here you have the list of builds that were run for a project, and you can see uh, a fine-grained results with all the logs for each of these scripts, for each of these tasks that were run in uh, a UI on the cloud. Distributed cache execution in an X means that multiple machines or CI agents uh, run tasks in parallel. So why you should use an X for Vite? I don't think you should even be asking at this point. <laughs> you get consistency, consistent developer experience, a uniform approach for multiple projects. You get optimized builds, an X computation caching enhances Vite's builds. You get flexibility, you mix and match configurations in one workspace. Uh, you also get speed and performance, and X boosts computation, expediting builds and tests locally and on CI. And while Vite ensures rapid builds and immediate HMR, if you combine the two, imagine how fast things are going. <laughs> also, you get integration and automation, NX plugins automate and integrate tools, consistency and code quality, as we said, because it enforces coding standards with custom generators and lint tools, automated code migrations and extensibility. NX plugins cater to multiple frameworks and you can extend your setup with Storybook, E2E test tools, linters, etc. So you have everything in one place, why not use it? Let's see some demos now. My demo is under this link here, but you can also find it in the links down here. This is the layout of an NX workspace. Uh, this is a React application set up to be built with Vite. As you can see, this is all generated by NX. This is the Vite config file. Uh, if we open the project JSON file, these are the executors we talked about, the targets, which run the Vit build executor, which can be triggered by clicking these buttons. You have the serve target, which uses the serve v the dev server Vit executor, the preview target, which uses the Vit preview server executor, and the test target, which uses Vtest. And you also get a lint target and a storybook target and a build storybook target. So you see that in this one React Vite application, you can run all these tasks through an X through a consistent way of triggering these commands. Uh, you also have a storybook setup to use the React Vite framework which links back to your Vite config. And you have the general usual setup of how a React Vite application would look like. Um, also, you get a React library that is set up with Vite, which the Vite config is adjusted to be used in a monorepo with a library. And in a library which just exports uh, a component, you get your Vite build targets and you can import this library in your application. The same with the TS library that again can be built using Vite. This is just a super simple like JavaScript TypeScript library that exports a string, but you know, it's still built using Vite. And this is a web components application, again, set up to be built with Vite. So as you can see, NX brings everything together in a consistent and tidy way. 
Um, so here in this other demo, you can see task execution through the VS Code UI. If you go into your project JSON and click on the task graph, you can see um, the, the dependency graph of your tasks. So for example, the build target depends on the other two uh, projects to be built. And if you click on serve, you will see the Vite application being served uh, in your browser. And the other extra thing that NX offers is the NX console, which is the UI for the NX CLI. You can run executors as we just saw by clicking, just clicking buttons. And you can also run generators through your NX console. Here we have a Webpack application that we want to convert to Vite. As you see, you have your Webpack config and the, the targets are triggering Webpack generators. If you just click Annex Vite configuration generator and you set it up that you have a React application that you want to convert to Vite and click generate, you will see that it deletes the Webpack config, it generates a Vita config, and it changes the project JSON uh, so that it uses the, the Vita executors so that you have just converted a Webpack, a React Webpack application into a React Vita application. Which is pretty amazing, if you ask me. And you can build it normally using Vite and it succeeds. Okay, so conclusion and takeaways. Uh, NX is powerful. NX is configurable, as you saw. NX has a wide plugin ecosystem. NX can enhance your developer experience. And NX can help you add V to your projects. So Vite is fast. NX manages resources together, super fast results, right? So why not use them together? As this cat looking at you is telling you with its smart eye. So thank you very much. You can find NX on Twitter at NX DevTools or these links here. And you can find me at CyberCity or Cyber.City. You can find all these links here down here or here at the bottom. I'm not sure which place it is. And thank you very, very much for watching my talk. And I cannot wait to see what you're going to build with NX and Vit. Bye. Bye.